Welcome to Foam University. Today we're gonna to talk about why it's important for contractors to use the proper foam insulation equipment. So for homeowners, it's really important to make sure that you vet your contractor, I've said this many times, so that they know the product that they're using, but they also need to know the equipment that they're using as well. Even if it's not super high-end equipment, they should know exactly what's in their trailer, how to run it, if there's an issue, how to repair it. So first let's talk about spray foam. So in a spray foam rig, there's going to be a proportioner, there's going to be pumps, of course there's going to be barrels with products and such as well. Now, for us, you know, we're, we've grown and we're able to get some high-end equipment to the point to where our proportioners, our machines, if there's anything out of ratio, if the temps are off or anything like that, if their hose heat goes down, our machine sends an error code and it stops and it basically shuts everything down and says, wait, this is going wrong. Fix this before I allow you to spray bad foam. So for us, it was a godsend. You know, now our machine, like I said, essentially won't allow us to spray bad foam. However, a lot of the up and uh, coming contractors that are out there, you know, obviously probably can't afford to get a higher end rig, which is fine. We've been there ourselves. Uh, the only thing is it will add some manual steps on your end. You will have to do some more double checks on your equipment. You may have to go through during the job a couple times and make sure everything is still in ratio. Make sure the temps are right. So like I said, that's not necessarily a problem. Just know it will add some steps. Next thing, let's talk about injection foam rigs. Same principles come into play. For us, we actually have over 25 years experience in injection foam, and we've actually helped design the actual rigs that we use for injection foam. So everything in our trailer, from the pumps to the hoppers, the generators, everything uh, is in there for a very specific purpose. That model, that, that design is in there for that exact reason. So all those gauges in there, again, those tell us exactly what's going on, tell us if, if the water is not the right temperature, what levels are at as far as the soap and the resin, all that type of stuff. Also, it's important to have the proper equipment so that you can do a proper test. At the beginning of every day, you should check out your material. Make sure you're spraying good foam, if it's spray foam. For injection foam, you should be testing that foam as well. So again, it's important for your equipment to be in proper order so that you can run those tests and know that the results from that test is going to be accurate. The last thing I wanna leave you with is if there's an issue, you want it to be human error. Why do I say that? Well. In those rigs, there's a lot of moving parts. So if you have an issue and you can think back and say, oh man, I was too close to the wall when I sprayed that, or I wasn't working the hose properly for injection or whatever it could be, you can easily look back and say, that mistake was on me. I know my equipment is squared away. Guys, I really hope you found this information helpful. Be sure to drop us a comment. Homeowners, leave us a question if you want some advice on how to vet your contractors and things like that. We have a lot of articles and videos on, on how, to, uh, how to approach your contractor and ask them the right questions. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to smash that like button. Ring that bell so you see all of our notifications. Wow. Hey, if you guys are really into foam, you should check out some of our guides. We have some for existing homes, new homes, and pole barns. It's really hot.